Hey there folks, it's Lane with Windows10Update.com and today we're going to be taking a look at six great back-to-school apps for Windows 10. Now we won't be going in-depth into the features of each of these individual apps. That video would just take 30 minutes, but uh, we'll go ahead and go through these really quick here and you'll learn a lot. So the first app that I want to show you is called Khan Academy. Khan Academy gives you the opportunity to learn a lot of subjects. So you can see here economics and finance, science, math, arts and humanities. Uh, you even have test prep in here. A lot of this content in here completely for free. These are lectures from professors. So this is a great way to learn. So if you're having trouble with a particular subject, that you're learning in high school or college, this is really going to make things a lot easier for you. All right, the next app I wanna take a look at today is called My Study Life. Essentially, this is a planner or scheduler for all of your different school-related tasks. Now, this can be used both by students and by teachers uh, to help you manage and organize all of your you know, classes that you have going on today, different tasks that you have to complete, exams that are coming up. So this just helps you keep your schedule organized, specifically made for students and teachers. And they have a great website as well that you can access all of this information from on any other device. All right, the next app we wanna take a look at is Dictionary Dot. So it's just spelled dictionary with a period at the end if you wanna find this in the store. It's just a free dictionary. Of course, no matter what level of schooling you're in, you're going to be coming across words that you don't know what they mean. So this app will be able to help you out with that. And there is a nice word of the day built in right here to help you with your vocabulary. My Homework is another great app that just helps you keep track of all of your school-related tasks that need to happen when you're not at school. So it helps you keep track of your classes, keep track of all of your homework, be reminded of when that is due. And this does sync online. So if you have multiple devices, even an, maybe an iPhone or an Android phone, this will also sync between those devices so that you can manage all of that on the go as well. Next, we're gonna take a look at Microsoft Sway. Now, Microsoft Sway is actually very similar to PowerPoint. So it's there to help you make presentations. The difference here is that it's really designed to be easy to use on mobile devices or touchscreen devices. Of course, the PowerPoint mobile application is great for that as well, but Sway is just a little bit more fine-tuned and a little bit more modern. So if you have to be delivering presentations in front of your class, this is a great app to put those together in and then to use to deliver those. All right, now the last app we wanna take a look at is Bamboo Paper. Now this is really fantastic for people with pen devices like the Surface Pro 3, the Surface 3, or any of the older Surface Pro models. Bamboo Paper is a digital notebook, and that's it. So it's specifically made for you to take written notes on your tablet. So I have this running on the Surface Pro 3 right here, and you'll see this is what the notebook looks like. So you can create multiple notebooks, by the way, but once you open it up, you're going to just be editing this particular page, and you can take handwritten notes right on the page there. You can see it is very responsive. It is also responsive to pen pressure, if you have a device that has pen pressure, and then of course you do have the ability to erase. The faster you move, the wider the eraser gets there. This is also a great app for sketching. If you're in an art class, this is really, really great for that. The great thing about this app really is the fact that it mimics a physical notebook feel. So you can have a specific notebook for specific things. You can have notes in one notebook. You can create a new one that's for your art projects. So it basically just mimics having multiple notebooks that you take notes in or create uh, digital works of art. Now the editing features that you'll see in here in terms of using the pen are not extremely advanced. So this is really not, nothing like Photoshop or even uh, Sketchbook Pro or things like that. This is really just designed for you to sketch things out. And that's just about it. So they do have a few different tools. We have water brush, uh, brush pen, crayon, etc. But some of the more advanced features that some of the other applications have, like layers, uh, is it, those are not available in this particular app. So it's really just made to as closely as possible, mimic a, a piece of paper. 
That said, if that's what you're after, this is a fantastic application, the best one that we know of for that specific task. Now that's all the apps that we have for you today, but there will be six more featured in a video right here on this channel tomorrow. So be sure to check back for that. Thanks for watching.